Hello everybody and welcome to another video on my channel. My name is Zena. I am a certified esthetician and a certified nail technician in Canada. So today I have a very exciting video, the dreaded striping tape. I am going to show you my tips and tricks on how I work with striping tape and hopefully I can help some of you guys out. So let's flip the camera around and just jump right into this kind of tutorial and tips and tricks. Hope you enjoy. Okay, so I have a absolute ton of different striping tapes. I have all kind of colors, rainbows, holographics. I have a couple like sparkly ones. So I am just going to show you how I personally work with striping tape. If you have any other tips and tricks, please feel free to leave them down below in the comment section. And I would love to hear how you work with striping tape because I know it is lots of people's worst nightmare. So to start off, I've just painted on two black tips. I just used my Vetro number 289 pigment black, and I just painted them on and then cured them for two minutes in my UV light. So this would be similar to just a color application on your clients. So from here, you want to make sure you always, always, always remove the dispersion layer. You do not want that tacky layer left on. So to remove my dispersion layer, I'm just going in with just a wipe and some of my Fusion Cleanser. 99% isopropyl alcohol will work as well. Okay, so now we have these colored tips ready for striping tape. Okay, so for this portion of the demo, I just picked a random striping tape. There's no really difference in striping tapes. Just find one that you like. I got mine off of eBay, I believe, and I've gotten some from suppliers as well. Like, I know this sparkly one came from Purple Beauty, but just any striping tape, the eBay ones work. They're really cheap. They're like a couple dollars or a couple cents even for a roll. And as you can tell, there's a lot on one roll. So one of the hardest things is finding the end. That's where lots of people struggle is just finding the end. So I'm just going to twirl it until I kind of see a disruption in the roll and then that will be my end. Okay, sorry I had to do that off screen because I couldn't see from the angle that my camera was in. But as you can see I found the end so you're just wanting, going to want to grab it and just pull. And there we have it. So tip number one, use big pieces. Do not cut the pieces to the length that you want them. You'll want to grab a lot because you want to use the middle section here on the nail. You do not want to use stuff that you have touched or that tweezers have touched. So you want to rip off a large piece of tape. There is a ton of tape on a roll. Don't feel like you're being wasteful when you're doing this. You're being efficient. So to cut my striping tape, I have these little stork scissors. So this is what I use to cut my striping tape because it has a fairly small little tip to it. Time for tip number two. Okay, so my second tip for everyone is using foil glue. So this is just a clear glue that it makes doing foil nails easier, but it also makes doing striping tape easier. So what you want to do is just grab your tip and then just paint a thin layer of the glue on. And as you'll see, it goes on kind of pearly. I don't know how you describe it. But it will dry transparent. So I have my glue on now. Just zoom in so you can kind of see what it looks like better. So you can see it's kind of that blue tinge. We are going to let this dry completely. Same with foils, you want your foil glue to be completely dry before you try to go in with foils and we want it to be completely dry before we go in with our striping tape. So it only takes a couple seconds, we're just going to let it do its thing. Okay, so this tip is now completely dry. As you can see, you don't see that kind of blue hue anymore. Okay, tip number three is to encapsulate your striping tape. I like encapsulating with my Fusion 2.5, which is what I have right in front of me here. So it's just kind of a runnier consistency clear builder. 
You can use a thicker consistency, however, I do find that the thicker consistencies can pick up your striping tape once you have it on the nail and move it around a little bit, whereas the thinner ones won't move it around once it's in place. So tip three is encapsulating your striping tape so that it lasts longer and it won't wear off as your clients are wearing their nails between their fills. All right, so let's just jump right in to the little kind of how I do it now. So I have my tip, I have my foil gel on it and it is completely dry and I still have my big piece of striping tape. So we are just going to lay it down. I just use my fingers to hold my striping tape. Some people use tweezers, I'm kind of clumsy with tweezers so I just use my fingers. But you want to use the portion in between your fingers. You do not want to use the stuff that you have already touched. So in between fingers I'm just going to go down and I'm just going to press it down and in. And that is stuck there fairly well. So I'm just going to go in and cut a couple more pieces so that we can make a little design. And I apologize this is in and out of focus with the striping tape being really shiny and very thin. It's not wanting to focus on the striping tape. My apologies. Okay, so I have another smaller piece. I'm doing a little bit smaller. I'm just going diagonally. So if you want to do a design where your striping tape does not come to the end on both sides and you want to kind of meet it, grab a smaller piece but still make sure it's plenty long and just grab it on one side and one side only. And then carefully make sure you're resting your hand on a tabletop or something so you don't have as much for shaking and just carefully place it and drop it. And then you can go back in and kind of tap it down. There, you can see what I just did. So I just overlapped it a little bit and just tapped it down. Okay, so my tip number four is leave these longer pieces until after you're done encapsulating. I find if I go in and try to clip them before I encapsulate them, then they sometimes lift up at the corners and that's something you do not want. So I personally leave the longer edges until I encapsulate them and cure that. And then I'll go in and cut them off and then as I'm doing my perimeter filing, they will smooth right into the nail. Okay, so now I'm going in with my clear gel to show you how I encapsulate this. I just take a decent sized blob, put it over top, and then just kind of work it over the nail. I'm not gonna do this whole tip because it is a super long tip, but just to give you an idea of what you want to do. You want to make sure you get right to the sides because we did not clip those off. So when you're filing, you want to make sure you're not filing into the gel. And if you're doing striping tape over a finished file nail, I never do that, so I am not an expert on that. But I would still suggest doing your color and then doing the same steps, cutting the long strips, using the foil gel, and then I would suggest at least painting over a thin coat of builder on top just to seal in that striping tape. Okay, so I have that all sealed in now with my builder. Ignore this bottom part, I didn't move my builder down there. But I'm going to pop this in my UV light for two minutes. Okay, so it has fully cured for the encapsulation portion. Again, we're going to wipe off the dispersion layer. And then I'm going to go in with my stork scissors and as closely as I can trim off the extra striping tape ends. And then you would just finish file this nail as usual, add your top coat or any other art you're doing, and voila! Some easy tips and tricks on how to do striping tape. All right, everybody, thanks for joining. I hope you enjoyed this little mini tutorial with some tips and tricks on how I work with striping tape. Stay tuned for next Monday's video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I'll see you all later. Bye.